before approaching a child to manage dehydration we have to know whether the child is dehydrated or not and if dehydrated how much the child is dehydrated for this we have to look on certain features of the children we have to look for a front we have to look the frontal lay of the patient then we have to see whether the consciousness of the patient is reduced we have to make see the lips and the mucous membranes of the child to see whether the child is dehydrated and another thing which is helpful is skin turgor skin turgor is classically looked in the abdominal wall and we have to pinch the skin of the abdominal wall if the child is more dehydrated or there is severe dehydration there will be denting of the skin for mild dehydration the uh, moderate dehydration the skin turgor will be reduced there can be tachypnea and acidotic breathing as the child becomes more and more dehydrated the eyes will be sunken in moderate dehydration there can be the in mild dehydration there will not it will not generally alter the vitals but once the dehydration is moderate there can be tachycardia and uh, once the dehydration becomes severe there can be hypotension there will be due to the peripheral vascular constriction the skin can be cool and clammy in case of moderate to severe dehydration if the weight of the child is previously known we can look for we can look whether there is any weight loss there is reduced capillary fill time when there is a moderate to severe dehydration and there can be oliguria even in case of mild dehydration these are the general features we have to look for in case of a child with dehydration so what is mild what is moderate and what is severe dehydration if the dehydration is 5% of the body weight suppose in case of a uh, in case of a what, 10 kg child there is a 5% dehydration 10 or 20 kg child there is a, suppose there is a 5% dehydration 5% body weight is lost it can be assessed by thirst dry mouth less urine and weight loss in case of moderate dehydration there will be sunken frontal lay sunken eyes deep breathing rapid deep breathing and loss of skin elasticity that is decrease in skin turgor in case of severe dehydration either it is 15% de dehydration there will be rapid weak pulse there will be cyanosis cold limbs and there can be hypotension so in case of mild dehydration the vitals are not generally altered in case of moderate dehydration there will be tachycardia and reduced skin turgor and sunken frontal lay and in case of severe dehydration there will be hypotension cold limbs sunken eyes and uh, there, there will be classically there will be hypotension in case of severe dehydration so depending upon this we can decide whether there is a dehydration or not or how severe the dehydration